friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In this class, we will be completing our quiz app that we started in the previous class. So let's begin. Add another global variable for our question number. Okay. And this will be one in the very beginning because we will be showing the first question when the start quiz button is pressed. Now we will write the code to show the question. Okay. And we will do it in a procedure because we want to avoid repetition and remember that we have to show the question again when the next button is clicked. Okay. So let's go to procedure and choose the first one because there's no result in our procedure and name it to show question. And we are going to slowly build it up this procedure. So the first thing is that we want that our movie picture is set to the questions image okay so whatever the question number is we will find where it is and then set it accordingly in the movie picture okay so how to do that we are going to first go to movie picture and we are going to get set movie picture this block and here instead of background or jpeg we are just going to put it in the trash can we are going to choose a list block called select list item and then you provide the list and you provide the index index means the position and this will be the question number i'm going to use this block and plug it in and here i'm going to give it the list that is the movie list so i'm just going to go to variables and get this get block and choose movie list from here and again I will go to variables get this get block and get the question number from here okay so what is happening inside our show question procedure we are setting the source of our movie picture to be what depending upon the question number we will get that item from our movie list and this will be actually an image file name and it will become the source of this picture okay and the first place where this show question will be called is when the screen is initialized. So I'm just going to click on quiz screen and when quiz screen is initialized, I want to call show question procedure. Okay. When I click on procedures, I will see my new block here call show question. Okay. Now let's add some code when the user writes the answer and then clicks on the submit button. So we are going to use our submit button on click block. And we will write some code inside it okay and inside it we have to compare what the user has provided in the answer text box with what the answer is for the question so we're going to get our if else block from control because we have to consider the correct situation and the wrong situation okay so this is important and here we are going to be comparing the answer with this answer okay so we are because we are comparing strings that is text values we are going to go to text and we will see that we have this compare text block okay so we are not going to be using an equal block from logic or maths we are going to be using the special block that has been created for comparing string values that is text values so inside this what will come here our answer value whatever the text is inside our answer which was a text box so whatever the user has written inside it but there's another important thing that we need to do we want our answer to be not case sensitive the end user might have written it in small letters or in all caps letters so we don't want his or her answer to be wrong just because he has written one letter small or capital so we are just going to use another block from the text section called upcase so it will just convert the answer into all caps okay so i'm just going to plug it in here and make it equal to and on the other side too again i'm going to use another upcase i have used small letters and capital letters both and what will come here so again we need to get just like we got the question we are going to get the answer for the question number that we are showing at that time so i'm just going to duplicate this one from our show question and i'm just going to change this movie list to our answer list and this is so simple depending upon the question number i will get the exact answer from here so for example i was on question number two so I would have been showing which image, the matrix image on my quiz screen. And if the user has written his answer for this matrix picture, 
I will turn the answer into uppercase and then I will compare it with the answer at position number 2 2 by getting it from the answer list. So I have chosen answer list here and I am making sure that the question number is the same as the one that is being displayed on the screen. Okay. So what is next? We want to set our result section that is our label to correct if our answer is correct that is we go inside this if condition and this condition is true and if it is not true we are going to say wrong and we are also going to tell the correct answer okay so go to result and set result text and i'm just going to use this text block and write down correct and in the other case i'm just going to duplicate it but here i want it to be not just wrong i want to tell the answer so i'm just going to remove this block and i'm going to go to text and i'm going to get a join because join is a way of adding two strings together so the first string is wrong dot space the correct answer is and then i'm going to add a space and then i'm just going to duplicate the correct answer okay and do not use upcase here because we want to show the answer that is written exactly in the answer list okay so this is for checking the answer and the next thing is that we want whatever the answer is we want to add plus one to a question number so that when the next button is clicked the next question is shown okay so we want to add a one to our global question number so i'm just going to go to variables get the set block again go to variables and get the get block that is a tongue twister so yeah so i'm going to set my question number to my question number and yes we need a plus block too because we need to add a one to it so i'm just going to plug whatever the value of global question number was before and i'm just going to add a one to it so that our next question is shown when the next button is clicked okay and we also want to set our answer to be empty now the old answer should not be showing so set answer text to empty and there's no score here so we need to add a score variable so let's go to variables and initialize a global variable called score and we want it to give the value 0 in the beginning because the score is 0 when the quiz is started. And if the answer is correct, we want to add a 1 to it. So we can easily duplicate this block because we are doing the same thing, but we are doing it to the question number and we can just change it to score. So whatever the score was before, just add a 1 to it. So my interpretation of the quiz game is that the user is not given any chance after he or she has entered an answer. So I'm just going to hide the submit button after the answer is given once. Okay. So I'm just going to go to submit button and make it its visible value to false so that it hides. Okay. So we're done. And what next? Let's add some code for our next button. So the code for next button is quite simple. When next button is clicked, we want, first of all, we want our submit button to be visible again. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate it and make it true. And I'm going to call my procedure call show question. So the next question is shown. And I've already taken care of that the question number is one is added to it so that the same question will not be shown it will be the next question in our movie list okay and another thing is that because i'm hiding my submit button so i want that when my screen is initialized it's not hidden there too so i'm just going to duplicate this block it might happen when you are using the companion app that your submit button becomes invisible and then you, you will have to reset the connection and then it will become visible again. So to take care of that matter, whenever the quiz screen is initialized, make sure that your submit button, button is visible. Okay. What next? Do you think our code is complete? No, because we need to know a way of when the quiz is finished. So you might have 10 questions in it. You might have 20 questions in it, but we want 
that our score should be shown when the questions have finished. We should not be stuck on the last question forever. For that, we need to make some changes in our show question procedure. And in that, what we're going to do is we're going to add an if else block here and we will get the if else block from control. And what will we be checking inside this if block? We will be checking if our question number is less than or equal to our movie list size. Okay, so we can actually get the length of our lists. Okay, so depending upon that, we will know that whether there's another question left or not. Because we are comparing numbers, we need match blocks and we are going to get this equal to block and actually change it to less than and equal to. On the left hand side, we will have the question number that is get question number and on the right hand side I need to find out what the list size is for my movie list okay so I'm just going to go to lists and this length of list block and inside this I need to provide what list I will be checking so I'm just going to use this duplicate it and put it here okay so what is happening that I am checking whether my question number is still less than or equal to my movie list size okay and I'm going to show the question I will set the movie picture only if this is true and if it is not true that means our question number is greater than our movie list size so this means that our questions have finished so in this case I could have taken it to another screen where the score could have been shown but to make it simpler what I'm doing is that I'm going to hide all the buttons and everything all the components and I'm just going to show the score so I'm just going to set all of them all the components the visible status to false so I'm just going to set movie picture false and I'm going to make my answer invisible to the text box another way of doing it is that you just take the answer block and choose visible from here and make it false and what else we have a next button and a submit button so go to the submit button and make it invisible too okay and our next button too and last but not the least we want to show the score i'm going to set the result result dot text to that join of score and then with the colon i'm just going to add the number score to it okay so it will be a join so i'm just going to go to text and i'm going to join two things score colon and then space and then I'm going to get the global score and I can get the global score by duplicating from here so this is done another thing that we can do is that to make the score clearer you can increase the size of the text even in the program so let's do that I'm going to go to result and you can see that I can change its font size we can make it 40 so our score is very very visible very prominent another thing is that I can also add some sound effects to it um, I've already shown you how to add sound effects remember the first app that we built the animal sounds app and you can have two sound uh, components and in case if the answer is correct you can play the correct sound uh, here or in the case if the answer is wrong you can play the wrong sound another thing that we need to do is that when the next button is clicked um, we don't want our result label to show the previous answer that is correct or wrong anymore so uh, we are going to change it to name the movie so i'm just going to go to result and set result dot text and make sure that you do it before show question okay I'm, and i'm going to use a text block and write down name the movie in it okay 
So you can add more to this app and make it more fun. You can add as many movie images as you want and have fun making this app. And I hope you like this video. Do share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.